Dragons' record away from home against Irish provinces isn't impressive, with just one win since 2004, that away to Ulster in 2008. The Welsh side's last win at the sports ground was also in 2004. Director of Rugby Lynn Jones included Corey Hill in the second row alongside captain Andrew Coombs. Connacht had lost all three matches against Welsh opponents so far this season, but coach Pat Lamb was happy to welcome the experienced Gavin Duffy back to the starting 15. And with the memory of the amazing success away to Toulouse still fresh in his players' minds, a second Pro 12 win of the season was the target. The visitors had the advantage of a strong wind at their backs in the first half and they took the lead in the eighth minute when Ross Wardle made a brilliant break before finding fullback Dan Evans who went over for the try. A fine score on the first try of the night. Jason Tobby was off target with the conversion but it was a bright start from Dragons. Wardle was central to another Dragons opportunity when he intercepted on his own 22 and made a threatening run into Connacht territory. The big man found winger Will Harries, but Matt Healy shepherded the Welshman into touch and the danger was averted. Toffey was on target with a penalty on the quarter hour mark to extend Dragons' lead to 8-0, but seven minutes before the break, the home crowd had something to cheer at last. Connacht scrummage dominating and forcing the penalty. Dan Parks kicking into a strong wind had plenty to spare, putting the ball over the bar to bring the score back to three points to Dragons 8. The Welsh side couldn't add to that lead despite having a strong wind at their backs. That's how it stood at the break. Four minutes after half time, Parks was again on target. Dragons penalised by referee Alain Roland for offside. And the Scottish number 10 held his nerve to make it 6 8, and the home side could sense blood. Tommy steadied the Dragons' ship with another penalty to stretch the lead to five points once more. Then, just past the hour mark, the visitors were reduced to 14 men for 10 minutes when prop Owen Evans was sin binned for tackling Jason Harris Wright without the ball. Parks had a chance to narrow the gap with the resulting penalty, but his kick was off target and it remained 11-6 in favour of Dragons. But the real drama was to come in the final five minutes. As the rain lashed down after a period of sustained calm pressure near the Dragons try line, Parks showed all his experience with a wonderful crossfield kick which found Fionn Carr on the wing. A really well planned try for Pat Lamb's side, and suddenly it was 11 all. A nice present for Carr, who celebrated his birthday during the week, the second try of the season for the Dubliner, and although Parks missed the conversion, it would turn out to be a hugely significant score. the sides level as the clock ticked towards 80 minutes it was that man Parks yet again who stole the show with a tremendous drop goal attempt that sailed between the posts to the delight of the men in green and the Connacht supporters the drop gave Connacht a 14-11 lead with little or no time for Dragons to mount a response as the full-time whistle approached Connacht won a scrum against the head all they wanted to do was find touch. George Naoku took it on, and eventually the ball was fed back. And there were great scenes as the men from the west of Ireland celebrated only their second Pro 12 win of the season. It's a win that lifts Connacht above Zebre in the table, with the Italians dropping to the bottom. Connacht's next game is away to top of the table Monster two days after Christmas. Dragons face Cardiff Blues at Rodney Parade on the 26th. The final score at the sports ground, Connacht 14, Dragons 11. <laughs>